Live. Only so now. Now. With Man, 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 the podcast. This is Man, 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 the podcast. Another day, another session. Na, you know, um, tunachofanya ni kila kitu ambacho tunasema kila siku tunafanya kwamba tunazungumzia conversations za wanaume, kiume zaidi tukwa tumekaa na wanaume. You already know Nadia is a bro by association. Kwa hiyo she's one of us. I hope mpaka leo je tu kwa sababu ya kutuda ya kutugeuka. So far so good. Yeah. I manage kwamba tunakuamini asilimia 100. All I can say is so far so good. So yeah, you can check us you can check us out. Au unaweza kutuangalia kupitia moja at men the podcast on Twitter and at men the podcast on Instagram. Like it most importantly, you know, fanya kusikiliza kupitia Apple Podcast, Spotify, Boom Play, Google Podcast, Audio Mac, uh, Deezer, uh, Anchor, and all the other places about you know, unapata nafasi ya kusikiliza a uh, podcast yako. And like I always say, sikiliza, ukiweza subscribe, share, um, it's a free gospel for everybody, you know. Watu wengi wakisikiliza zaidi conversation ni namna ndio inavyozidi kwa bora zaidi kwa kwa kwa, kwa walio wengi kupata ufahamu zaidi na kuweza ku improve understanding yetu sisi kama wanaume sisi kama jamii lakini you know it takes one day at a time tuna tuna tunajifunza kitu kimoja ya kimoja kila siku and uh, one of my favorite rappers Pusha T kuna kipindi alikuwa na beef na Drake and then akawa mojio akauza kwamba how long unaweza kuendelea na beef the guy was like we just gonna peel the layer taratibu you know taratibu baka tumekisha kwamba Drake anaelewa kitu ambacho tunazungumzia. So to contextualize hiyo katika issue ambayo tunazungumzia is kwamba we keep on talking issue moja baada ya nyingine in the hope ya ku ya ku spark conversation kuhusiana na mental health Tanzania na kwa wanaume wa Kiafrika ambao wanasikiliza Kiswahili sababu tunachanganya sana Kiswahili na Kiingereza huko ndani. Shout out to Naji for that. Kwa kama tukiweza kuweza ku compact na watu kusikiliza na kuelewa is good news for us. Naji what's up? I'm good. Uko poa? Kinyonge sana rafiki yangu leo. Eh? Kinyonge sana. Hapana. Uh, kuna tangazo lolote tunalotaka kuambia watu. Tangazo right lolo. now, you know, watu wamekuwa kufuatilia sana maisha yako na elimu yako through the podcast. Uh, Is there anything you want to say? Keep praying. Keep praying. Uh, pray for me if you haven't been, but yeah. Pray. <laughs> so I'm seeing that you don't wake up kwenye sala zetu jamani. <laughs> That is what she said. So yeah, that's our Nadia, our own resident psychologist. Ambo kama unataka kuzungumza naye na kupata service toka kwake, remember, Mind Matters TZ on Instagram, Mind Matters TZ on Twitter, and then there's a link kwenye uh, bio ya hizo pages zake ambazo zitakupeleka moja kwa moja kwenye website. Now there's there's a reason you have to go to the website kwa sababu kuna maswali pale ambayo unaweza ukajibu na nini ambayo inamsaidia yeye kuweza kuona namna gani anaweza aka where to place you in terms of service na time so do not think of it as njia ku really really kufanya watu wasimuone but it's more of a way ya kufanya due diligence ya kuweza kujua kwamba namna gani anaweza aka offer best service kwako am i wrong am i wrong you're right got it you don't need to say all of these things yeah, michael that's what you wanted to hear Huh? He's saying that he's right. Yeah, but but a, he a, thinks he's wrong. A, affirmation ni muhimu sana. Point ya msingi ni kwamba wasidhani kwamba tunawabania na ambatishi. There is the reason. Ah. Eh yana kuambia uende kwenye website yake. You know what okay, I mean? Okay. Yeah, Aden was good. All right, brother. All right, all right. Over fresh. Ah, salama chief. Finally you've made it. Atimaye. On episode sija msidi na ngapi? Eh, yeah. yeah, you finally <laughs> decided kwamba you know what? Now it's time for me to go share my knowledge and my understanding. I mean, I would say, I mean, I would say knowledge, I mean, I'm still collecting knowledge. Yeah. So, kwanza nomba nianze na a disclaimer, miss your expert wa mambo and we're not going to exercise in any sort of you could say virtue signaling. I'm not perfect. Uh, point up but hey my yes, back at you but yeah thank you but well we know that think yeah. but thank you for the disclaimer and again yeah. guys in the conversation it's okay what kuna different opinion exactly as is going yeah it's is the whole it's the, the point, whole point. To, just the whole point yeah. right so you don't have to 100% have a first set of opinions yes it's okay so you don't have to 100% agree with us actually the more you disagree the more we think conversation is not okay which is the key point and of what we're trying to do there's nothing wrong with disagreeing with someone. I mean not, me and Mike have been friends for a long time. We don't agree on a, on a lot of things a actually. A lot of things my guy. Yeah, a lot of things. We still cool. We still cool. We still cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's Aden. Aden is just like I said Aden is my boy, man. He's one of those 
He's one of those guys, and we've we've known each other for a very long time, man. More than fifteen years of eighteen. Twenty. 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 Nine, something. This is our nineteenth year. If, yeah. yeah, we need to do an anniversary when we get to next year. So He's I'm keeping not, tabs, okay? Yeah, man. I'm not. I'm Someone's not, keeping tabs. Someone is keeping. I I I I I I I I I am good like Jack, that. Jack, your man, keep your tabs over here. <laughs> this is the part that I'm gonna edit out. So come here, you again. So I've been boys with Adam for such a long time, man, and uh, we've all we've all evolved at some point. Where we met when we were just little boys going to school, and uh, well, well, with time, experience, and to shape, and exposure, na kujaribu kujifunza zaidi na vitu kama hivyo. So I can call screwing up a lot in the middle as well. Yeah, screwing up a lot in the middle as well. That's yeah. that's where the learnings come from. Exactly. You know? Owning up to some of the shit that we do yeah. or we did yeah. as well, you know, it's all part of going up. So I thought it would be really, really good to actually have him, have him here today. Nah, uh, you know, because it goes about what we want to talk about today. So basically, which I think is very sensitive. Now, I think it's sensitive in, in such a way to me to me we don't even know a sexual problem. That's the thing, subconsciously. Again, maybe like I said before we started, maybe it's because for for the longest time the kitu about checking your question now, kina to favor na it works on. on we benefit from it. it yeah, right? we benefit from it as men. Yeah. So because of that, we're like, why should we even bother to address it? The status quo favors us, right? It does. It does. Yeah. But then part of growth is to actually unlearn na kukubali kwamba some of the things are really really toxic. That's the fun, tricky part, eh? Yeah. It, it's, learning it's, is easy. I'm learning, man. And, and learning is super hard. It's yeah, super yeah. hard. So today, we really want to unpack and address the whole concept of consent and power dynamics. Kwanome. You know? Consent and, and power dynamics. And how it plays a role in your relationships to Lizonazo. Well, even us among men, but even with the people of the opposite sex, mm-hmm. you know? And na kwa namna gani hivu vitu vina vinachangia matatizo makubwa sana and it's actually one of the things about when lead kwenye mental health issues that is what we want to talk about today so before we dive deep kabisa 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 into this i i, I want to hear from you your opinion so and your understanding so when you talk about consent and power dynamics tunazungumzia nini and how do the two actually relate in my humble not ex not expert opinion <laughs> these two things they might appear that they're different, but they're actually sides of the same coin, right? Because babu unapozungumzia power dynamics, that's going to impact the degree of, you could say, consent, right? Mm-hmm. And power is such a tricky thing, eh? It could be financial power. Mm-hmm. It could be um, in, in terms of the office, VL, ata po kuna power dynamics, um kuna mahusiano kuna traditional um settings ambazo you could say kwamba kuna some sort of establishment kwamba power ya mwanaume ni huyu na power ya mwanamke ni huyu lakini i think ili kuelewa vizuri zaidi ni vizuri tukaanza na kusema kwamba hapo zamani ilikuwaje na sasa hivi tuko vipi in my opinion i think um kwamba the power dynamics have shifted over time a few weeks ago um nilikuwa sehemu ah sasa shikaje kwa anapiga story tu wakasema hivi kwamba siku hizi mambo yamebadilika wanasema zamani you could say for example labda mwanamke alikuwa yuko 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 nyumbani tu mama wa nyumbani kwa hiyo automatically ukiangalia kama ni mama wa nyumbani influence yake in terms of power itakuwa ndogo kwa ina maana kuja ku negotiate maisha hana influence kubwa lakini siku hizi kina dada wengi Mungu amewajalia wanafanya kazi na unakuta in some cases wanafanya kazi zaidi ya wanaume wanasoma zaidi in fact i'm sure say hivi if you look at any statistics akina dada wana graduate zaidi kushinda wanaume. sisi yeah. lakini hapo hapo despite that vitu havija adjust bado huu ni mtazamo wangu mm. kwa hiyo unakuta that's why jamaa ndio I can get graphics zaidi. Sasa hivi kama unaweza kaa graphic dogo. Go 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 go. Akasema kwamba unakuta zamani mwanamke unampa hela na chances za mwanamke kufanya mapenzi zamani zilikuwa chache. Lakini siku hizi mwanamke ana hela yake, anaweza kufanya mapenzi na mtu yeyote. Kwa hiyo the question now becomes 
mimi kama mwanaume what do i have to offer kwa sababu hela is no longer on the table yeah sure you, you could say you can still offer money but she can survive without your money without your money yeah ukisema umpelekee moto ah sikizi kuna watu wengi she can get that anyway yeah. exactly yeah. exactly mimi zamani nilikuwa mpaka olewe nini yeah. lakini sikizi sio lazima olewe yeah. kwa hiyo now the question becomes what do you have to offer hapo ndo sasa i think kuna impact ya power dynamics inakuja do you think ni kitu ambacho for for a while wanaume do we, do we think we actually aware of that or do you think kwamba sisi tupo pale pale tulipokuwa kwa kuzoea kutumia method zile zile na kwa kuzania mambo ya tabaki yale yale ile hali there's a huge change that's actually happening out there ulianza vizuri sana ukasema subconsciously inawezekana subconsciously tuko aware ila consciously hatuko aware mm. so i think hapo the issue is not is not being aware or not nadhani it's the issue of accepting that things have changed mm because we can be aware i can be aware that i have a wound kwenye mguu wangu lakini to accept that nili you know ni nahitaji ku tend to this wound and to actually take steps is another story lakini when we speak of denial it's a, it's very subconscious it's like it is a very it, it's a defense mechanism kuna kitu ninakiona ambacho naona labda kimenizidi uwezo wangu mimi kukabiliana nacho so it is safer kwangu mimi we block out of my conscious frame. Ah, uh, uh, denial sir. It's denial. Right? Kwa sababu ukiangalia yes the environment is changing, the times are changing. Ndio as much as a lot of structures are being kind of shifted around, <coughs> moving around, lakini vitu vingi bado have remained the same. Until the time ambayo kutakuwa kuna ile like the, that veil of denial is taken down. I I don't think there's really going to be proper proper change. Mm. Right? Um kwa sababu as long as we're still holding on to na hapa sio wanaume tu, wanawake pia. You said earlier like each has their own source of power. Mm. Right? Uh it's not just that the woman is powerless and this weak weakling kimekaa kwenye kona pale na subiria to be saved by this I don't know giant actually somebody uh, got extremely powerful person <laughs> i just remembered something um so there was this guy in ancient greece he was a comedian um his name was aristophanes mm. he actually wrote um like a play it was called lystrata if i'm not mistaken and back then athens and the spartans they were fighting a lot mm-hmm. right they were fighting a lot so the women of athens and the women of of pata wakaamua kufanya kikao wakaamua kwamba bwana hii vita imeendelea muda mrefu ili ishe we're going to withhold our one source of power that the woman has the kuchi <laughs> yes wow. and this is funny it's outrageous but it's very interesting this yes. is like before christ That's right Aristophanes yes. Yeah. yes 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 and it's so eye opening and it's so fascinating kwamba i remember this when uh Nadia said social power i started by saying kwamba social power inaweza kuwa income nini but a woman also has another very powerful i get you but but the, uh, here's the thing though and 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 i'm going to ask you this because we see a lot of conversation about not okay especially say around social media actually leo to the one that today even your boy just hear the song about it yeah. the power of the the power of the Exactly. Jig and Arakel Arist- is the thing. Oh, which means maybe Jay-Z got it from yeah. <laughs> Aristophanes, eh? Probably, probably the, yeah. the power of beep, 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 beep. Yeah. But the cause the conversation around social media has been around mm. and now uh, people would say, well, besides from sex, why else why else can a woman enter open a relationship? Mm. So I think for the longest time people have always felt like that is the only thing that women actually can can come and offer and you keep on watch maybe one of them wing come kwa nacho kichwani and that's you know? because patriarchy reduced a woman to mm-hmm. that mainly unajua like it's ndo maana mwanamke was not allowed to go to school or go to work because i'm one is such a you're a weakling your job is to you know receive seed create baby mm-hmm. like it's an easy job mm-hmm. but Basically throughout the times the woman has been reduced to to that so that thinking comes from this whole structure yeah. that has been laid there yeah. like if you look at it i mean 
our brain cells pretty much uh, we have same equal amounts um, you know like functioning wise men women biologically anatomically function the same so there's no reason a woman cannot um, go off and offer as much as because then you can say a man's job is to get his penis erect and uh, send you know, his seed across <laughs> you know I- I'm sorry but I have a slight opinion somewhat somewhat slight different opinion on that mm. you could say back in the days it made sense for a woman washing machine so the man had to go outside hunt so it made more sense so but like you said the world ha- the world ha- has changed mm-hmm. has moved on where mm-hmm. now the question now becomes are, are we changing with it then we come to una kuta rasema ah mimi kwangu lazima anifurie nguo nini kama una uwezo wa kuchukua washing machine lazima kufurie na mkono Yeah. Which brings you back now to what we are talking about here today in the whole concept of what do you offer, what do you not <laughs> offer, and what what and what what what. Do you think it's right, fair for now also because women to also say, well, okay, then what do you what do you also bring to the team? I think it's fine. And do you think uh, men are ready for are ready for that question? Niggas gotta because, step up. Uh, But I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, you, you got to step up. And, and, and in fact, if you look at evolution and, and everything, you know, only the fit used to mate. Mm. But now we make it seem as if like everybody got a mate. Mm. See, go on there. Well, now we, it, when this really, woman has increased just, their standards, just, just, will. No, 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 just go back and run it back a little bit. Yeah. When you talk about, talk as a man, come only the fittiest are the ones that could mate. What, what do you mean by that? Ah, I mean, it's a man who could mate. Ndio mume mmoja ana wake 7 8 unakuta ana wake 7 8 kwa sababu ana mashamba 10 anatengeneza surplus mm. si kama mnaelewa lakini he was just in a weak vivu. man you hey. would say kama vivu yeah. you read things fall of you right yeah, yeah. okonko oh, yeah. yeah. you see yeah, yeah. And, apart. and how lazy his dad was yeah. and how okonko decided to i think get two three wives right yeah. but his dad i think had only one wife no yeah ndio yeah. yeah. kwa hiyo Quayo, I mean, and I think that's how the world has always been, right? It's always the fit ones that get m- the benefits. If you put it that way. Yeah, it yeah. really is. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I've if you think about it, on an evolutionary level, right? When a woman, I came up with a woman. And the good thing we have Nadia here. One of the things that she would think is, this guy, I can see a mimba. I can see a mimba. I can see a mimba. at the provide security now back in the days when we didn't have um, we didn't have like formal settings right unajua nyumba nini um we could have hamba sana simba nini all these elements right mvua nini kwa sababu when a woman akiwa ameshika ile mimba kuna vitu vingine na kwa haiwezi kufanya right kwa hiyo namani you as a man you have to be there if you bring it now ataka apartment na akiwa na mimba yake ataenda kazini akiwa na mimba yake si kama umeelewa yeah. hawezi kuogopa kwamba simba naweza akamvamia akamvamia si kama umeelewa yeah. kwa hiyo things have changed so i mean yes and still it doesn't mean kwamba now a majority of ladies that you ask they still like to be taken care of but it's not the only thing right mm. it's not the only thing but back in the days you could get away with that that was the only thing you know that was the only currency yeah that a man could offer like hey i mean utakula utalala and in fact at some time kuna msemo you could see dada atakwambia kwamba yeah hata kwetu ilikuwa nakula vizuri which is true it's true which is true eh hajaweza kula biryani kwako eh hajaweza kupanda gari kwako si kama unaelewa kwa hiyo again it comes down to what you have to offer and i think that kind of influences the part dynamics eh? yeah mm. and i'm trying to look at it what i remember the other day me and you had a conversation about it to cut no we i we, we try to break it down in the sense of um this is where i feel like ime kwa advantage kwa ime kwa benefit kwa wanaume kwa muda mrefu sana and it could be wrong like me you look at it this way growing up as a boy you are told kwamba ukiwa na mfukuzia msichana if she says no it means what anakufikiria yes <laughs> It, there's nobody on there that can and you if it's no yeah. it could actually be no yeah any i don't ever remember being told that 
you know that combat you know and, 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 that, and that's, that's because also to quite no guess yeah there's this clip that's been trading um this is going on um they're in a bar and apparently this guy asked the chick's number then the chick akumpa number mshikaji so jamaa walikuwa account jamaa akamwagia yani ameagiza mbombe akaisubiria I mean that kind of sense of entitlement it, that you're talking about. It is. It is a sense of entitlement. Yeah. So growing up, kwamba kabio hapana, scoopy yeah. number. Yeah. Jamaa kama hii. Kama hii. Like because you're yeah. entitled kwamba ukimfuata mdada yeah. lazima akubali. Akikata it always means yeah. kwamba atakubali. Ah, Au kama akikata, akatai kistaramu. Akata whatever that means, you know. <laughs> whatever that is like <laughs> like thank you star up like like to to not bring so now ni na bwana au labda leo si ski i mean i can say my no is no really yeah, yeah. so right. but then that's what i'm saying now growing <laughs> up we we grew up in a setting ambayo kwamba so and i think subconsciously that in our door concept is in ya kuelewa we were concerned because you know literally she's not supposed to say no so later on now this little boy anakuwa anakuja kuwa mwanaume mtu mzima ambaye maisha yake yote anajua kama mdada <laughs> lazima akubali now two things now this is purely my analysis right mm. feel free to disagree two things about ndo vinatokea kuna ambao moja wanaweza wakajifunza you know na wakaelewa kama oh shit this whole thing was wrong from the from the get go you know na kuna ambao hawakubali na hicho kitu now ambao hawakubali na hicho kitu kuna wale ambao wataendelea kuharass au wale ambao wanaona au oh, sasa kwa kuwa wanasumbua acha nianze kudina wale ambao wako chini yangu kiuwezo and then because either so for instance kama mtu mzima ukisema unatoka na mwanafunzi wa chuo obviously chances are she'll agree to be with you purely based on what you can actually offer you know about what i think conversation we had the other day uh-huh. Ma, mo, most of the time nakuta pia wanaume ambao wako kwenye position of power i feel like tend to manipulate his situation to their advantage really bila kukaa na kufikiria the what, what would the other person think because then you feel like what do you need money i can easily nezen kakupa you na utaka i can easily provide you what you want without even caring about what you want really as a person and i think pia ni, ni the whole concept in ngia pia power dynamics na power dynamic but dynamics na poingia na swazi mala consent but michael i yeah. think hapo when we talk about consent let's look at who can consent i agree so so legally 18 year old and above can give legal consent to even a extreme major medical co- treatment like sure. a, a major surgery without was as wake could do or anything mm-hmm. right um and then we have minors mm-hmm. who really cannot give consent yeah. we're talking about under 18 under 18 yeah. right um who want to get mzazi or some form of guardian right, to yeah. to give that consent Definitely. except for some special circumstances these usually in the medical field ndo tunakuaga tuna special circumstances so not when it comes to sex or other stuff there they are still a minor you will be convicted as a, a you know a, 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 an offender mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um so to situate responsibility ya kukubali au kukata right from that person that is also part because sad tukisema watu wazima wanafuata wale wasiana wa chuo yule kama ana miaka 18 au above ni lazima na yeye awajibike mm-hmm. kama amekubali hiyo ni umetoa consent hata kama umekubali kwa sababu ya pesa mm-hmm. umeku umekubali hiyo ni consent right so we can't say it's that old man's um responsibility to think for this girl and what's in her best interest but, you are but nani also are we not shifting blame kwa kuassume kwamba an 18 year old and as a reason kama 35 year old hapana I mean, michael That's ndo maana sasa hapo tuta blur the lines ila kwa shida kwa sababu mimi naweza nikasema mimi na miaka 30 sina upeo wa kutoa consent because akili yangu haijafika huko that's why the law draws the line somewhere wanasema yeah. okay hapa because it's a tricky thing eh? yeah it it's is very, very tricky, tricky. <laughs> mtu huyo mwenye miaka 40 anaweza na yeye akasema kwamba mimi my mental my, my chronological age yeye ndio ni 40 lakini my mental age kwenye kichwa changu mimi najihisika miaka na sita <laughs> tunafanya nini <laughs> So uh, now the girl has the advantage of that man who is supposedly 40. Mm, mm. You know so it's important. I think hata tukiwa tunavizungumzia wote mwanamke ajue kwamba if you agree hata kama umepewa sijui iPhone ndio umekubali alafu baadaye unamgeuka umeichukua ile ume agree in any in any tone whether it is you agree verbally 
right? Um, when it comes to sex, verbal consent must. The person needs to say, Dio, nakubali, but, right? Or um, other other actions, because again, it's, it's very tricky to kiongele consent. But, it's very tricky when you get to the like the. And I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. But when you get to the legal platforms, mm. there must be that verbal consent. Like mm-hmm. ini inabidi kwanzia sasa, both need to be conscious. Like the the, the person on yes, one side seeking yes. needs to know this is you know is what is this that, that yes, I'm engaging in. One party should not be intoxicated, right? Yes. Yes. Because I'm with person who oh, is yes, definitely. the person who is you know that is not consent. They cannot they're consent under the influence. Because they're intoxicated. At the come back some yes. At the come back some yes they're yeah. high on yeah. some alcohol yes, so drug. That is not if you a, sign a contract while you're intoxicated and, and, and it's and not food. bound. Ah, 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 exactly. Quite ah. you I mean There's, I think, when you talk about consent, we have to look at the dimensions. Yeah. Kwanza ni kama hiyo. Huyu mtu alikuwa alitoa consent. Wakati alitoa consent, alikuwa kwenye state gani? Mm-hmm. Right? Well, sound mind. Akiwa sound na mental mind. illness, alafu yeah. ameamuna nene na above, yeah. let's say, yeah. a, a developmental condition. Yeah. Ataka kama na kasa lasini, bada exactly. haizi kutoa consent. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and the other thing is, I think we also need to be aware kwamba hiyo consent inaweza kwa removed at any given point. Sika mm-hmm. mnaelewa. Mm-hmm. Yes, amechukua iPhone, mmeingia, akamwambia stack. Stack tena. Is done. I mean, au uh, labda amekuja pombe zako, ukajua uhakika, um, akaamua hapa na basi. I mean, you just have to deal with it. Mm. Sika mnaelewa. Yeah, yeah. Kwa hiyo I mean, the thing is akitoa concept sa 4 asubuhi. Sa 4 dakika mbili asubuhi. I mean, like a British was. Was. Yeah. Quite yeah. an ass growing up as a man, it could be puzzling, right? Yeah. These are the sort of things that you have to pick up. And to pick up these things on, like, for example, to cure shit with don't get. These are the things that we have to we have to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. things have changed because babu zamani kan msema akila dada alikuwa ana paa kutosha. Kwa hiyo they just they took a lot of shit. Eh, akina dada sasa hivi I mean more power to them. See go me there. Yeah. Yeah. Kwa hiyo hiyo concept wakati inatolewa alikuwa ni state gani of mind hiyo moja. Na pili as a man you have to be aware kwamba concept inaweza kuwa remove at any given point. And now kwa nchi za wenzetu wengine they go so far they saying even during the act like during sex the woman can say no stop and you have to stop. Nchi za wenzetu if you don't stop they consider shit rape. Now kwa hapa zani kama za ka hold but yeah kwa zetu i mean that's how serious they are yeah, yeah. kwa even during sex a woman can remove there because i can say my partner stacky mm. please stop mm. you have to stop mm. if you continue that can be considered rape kwa nchi za zetu yeah yeah eh kwa hapa sijui ina kwa ni mimi zamani well i would say zamani there was a time used to call myself a feminist mm. <laughs> now i call myself a recovering misogynist. Kusabu <laughs> recovering misogynist. Hey, hey, kusabu kuna mtu fulani mtu unakuwa conditioned, mm. you know, and you think they're okay, but in actual fact, mm. as you say, ukivolve wanajua then kuna wengine they become fathers, they become husbands. I mean, that gives you a different set of perspective, right? Kwa hiyo, yeah. So I'm no longer feminist I'm recovering my sadness. And that's I'm saying but I'm not an expert eh. Yeah, but but but, but here's the thing though. One thing about nataka to 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 yangalie pia. I really want to look at namna gani ambavyo with something I really really don't think we should. I know we talked about in one of the episodes with uh, somebody in Zira where we talked about power and no, no men and nini na vitu kama hivyo. Um I know what Nadia said about consent na 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 umri na vitu kama hivyo lakini I really want to talk about namna gani power dynamics kwa muda mrefu sana tumekuwa tukingangania sisi wanaume ambacho kiasi kwamba naona tunaona it is well within our rights to the extent kwamba we really cannot take a hand of rejection na mtatoa mfano mmoja kuna siku moja I was talking to a friend akawa ananiambia kwamba there's a reason a lot of um not a lot of hakuna research like in there's the reason labda <coughs> kuna say viongozi wa dini wanaweza wakatembea na wake za watu akasema simply because of the whole concept of the position of power that, that you know logically to 
I was like, how? I can't be well. The same case, I'm going to say that siasa, maarufu, na mwenye jina, aneza katembea na mtu yoyote. The same way you think very popular uh, a person, aneza katembea na mtu yoyote. It's simply because, na, uh, this, and this was a woman, by the way. Mm. Aksema, simply because women are fascinated by the whole concept of power, and men tend to take a lot of advantage of that. So what we're saying is when women are drawn to power. That what Your she said. friend was saying. Yeah. That, that's what she said, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I thought about that. So I thought it'd be really, really nice to create up because Babu, we've seen a lot of cases, the Harvey Weinsteins of the world, mm. the Ara Kellys, and this, uh, this, our Kwanda and Omenbo, they were in a position of power, mm. you know? And then to create a context, they tweet, I know we don't we don't shame people or we don't name people na vitu kama hivyo lakini how true is that when a context yet a lot of men in power also tend to take advantage of that at the end of the day they end up abusing other people I think it stems from an evolutionary um, standpoint now the question you have to ask yourself is why are we, uh, women or some women I don't know if it's all women but you can say women are drawn to power most times People who have power are successful people, mm. right? Huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They have success, mm. either one way or the other. Yeah, one way, one or, way the other. or the other. It could be financial success. It could be um, social success. They're famous. Mm. Uh, so again, remember how I said Kwamba, the fetus used to get to mate. Mm-hmm. Kwa now, I would say how we um, we categorize fit mates has gone from anaweza kunilinda against Simba to jamaa maarufu jamaa has a big bank account see come in there mate yeah in there context yeah uh-huh. so, uh, so the context you could say has shifted right mm-hmm. it's no longer more in the bush it's, uh, you know you know mm-hmm. and i would say even like a biologist would say wamba that risk ya kwamba a woman akisema wamba if i do get pregnant this dude can handle it. Mm-hmm. And there's that element too. Mm-hmm. It could be subconscious. Because you know, most decisions that we make are actually made by the subconscious. Mm-hmm. Right? We think we're making them, but it's the subconscious. And again, I'm not an expert, but I, I would reason this subconscious part, part of it could be genetics, part of it could be how you grew up, experience, how you, how you see things. Because the brain, you know, absorbs all these things. Eh? And the best way the, the brain gets to expand is through experience. Mm-hmm. Seeing things, how it happened. And, and that's why if you're a parent, it's always good to watch what you're saying for your kids. How, how you carry yourself in front of your kids. If you go to the restaurant and then you are rude to the waiter and your kids are there. I mean, your kid is soaking all this up. Quite all these things come into play. You might, you're not Mike Leo because of what happened five years ago, right? It's an accumulation of life experiences. Some your own, some not your own. But that doesn't mean Kwamba, you have to blame the people around you. See, Kwamba Leo. So I, I mean, you. it's a very thin line, actually. It's mm-hmm. a very thin line. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a very thin. Line. I, I I don't know if I've answered your question or if I tried to. Oh, by weird way of you of bullshitted course. around this. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just yeah, fucking yeah. with you. No, I think, my, yeah, it's um, like as you said, we, we, we are basically what evolutionary evolutionary beings, right? Um, and we are basically hardwired to, um, you know, to 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 well, basically hardwired in this state of fight, flight, freeze, looking at survival. How best do I survive in my environment? Um, that's 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 how we're we're hardwired. So we've moved from a jungle uh, where there's lions and, and etc. These real dangers, and we moved into a concrete jungle where now the threats are different. The threats are rent. The threats are um, you know not having enough to pay for your medical bills, right? So before it was physical strength that was necessary to ward off the people. Yes, now you have to convince who... your wife to get a second wife before we go on a chukua to So, yeah. Mambo mm. yabadilika. So, lakini, what people... Um, so, if, if we leave it to our instincts, our, our, our 
our animal our instincts, yes. our reactions. Obviously, we will behave in very primitive ways, right? Kwa sababu, everything in us is saying, scan your environment, Nadia, who is the perfect mate that will help you survive? Exactly. Primitive brain, right? That is the reptilian brain that has been there even before you were born. That's the first part of your brain that develops. But human beings, what separates us from animals, ni kwamba tuna uwezo wa kufikiria and rationalize and say, sawa, automatically I'm drawn to this because survival-wise, this is what will save me. Lakini rash, rationalizing is looking at, okay, what is, can I work? Can I do this? Is this right? It, it helps you weigh the right or wrong, right? Ukikutana na, you know, wanyama kule, hajui uu ni mamangu, ni babangu, ni mtoto wangu. They will mate with whatever. Right? I don't know about animals. Uh, I think uh, depends, maybe, actually. yeah, there are some who are very yeah, yeah, yeah. particular. Yeah, yeah. But it's different with human beings. Right? That's, why we're, that's what separates us. We can us. reason, right? We can reason. So, tukikatu naendelea kusema, oh, this is just my natural instinct. And why should you be treated different to an animal then? Right? So... I mean, that, that's the, the beauty of being a human, is that tunaule uwezo wa kufikiria kwamba, okay, ichi nataka, lakini I can hold my, my drive, you know, my, those, those, those needs, and rationalize and see, okay, can I get this now? Can I get this later? Can I get this in a different way? Yes. Immediate validation. Yes. You know, so... At a, in that setting that, okay, you find that some women are drawn to or seek uh, wealthier or more successful or famous because of those natural drives that I think because with this mate, naturally, because they have more influence and more power, then I am safer. This all boils down to those basic uh, human animalistic needs, I will say, mm-hmm. right? Um, like in me, very few actually tend to engage because it takes a lot of effort to be human. <laughs> yeah, it does, man. Um, it does. Abu, you know, it's so it easy. Yeah. Just to add on, on what Nadia is saying, you know, our instinct is it makes us react, right? Yes. While the reasoning part is there to help us respond mm. to certain situations. So, I mean, as a human being, you have two choices. You can react, you can respond. Now, for example, you're in, you're in the club and... and you see a nice lady, your reaction could be, of course you evolved, because you, you respond. So, and the response will be like, oh, okay, ma, um, you have a good night. But you win but some, you lose some. You, lo- you win some, you lose some. But yeah. the boy, the boy knew, and no, actually means yes. Yeah. It's tough. And it's I tough. think, it's, it's, and, it's I, tough. And, and I see, and I honestly think, this is one of the biggest problems that we have as, as boys or as men in this country, you know? This is why I thought the whole conversation of concept and power play is in power dynamics, so it was important to have. Because I remember, we remember growing up, like I said earlier, Kwamba, you know, first of all, we are not taught about consent. You know, we're not. Unless you are conscious about it. You know, now na, 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 na sometimes as boys, unachekwa when you're too nice. You know, unachekwa when you're too nice. As a result, Unakuwa with the whole mentality to come but you have to yeah, be nice guys finish last, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, smart, good guys finish last, you know? Yeah. And then also, you know, you have a concept. Now, you have a concept here, no, no, comma. No cannot actually mean no. No means yes. Now, Vivian, you try harder, And then, Vivian, you have to go back also na kukumbuka pia nadi, comma. Even for ladies, we go to a fat as a man and a comment, nipe muda ni fikiri. And I said, no, man, I think there was there was a rule like a three no's. Let me think about it. She's like, okay, yeah, we can be together. So, Ian ended up validate. It kind of ended up validate the whole concept. But I'm sure even girls growing up were kind of like, you have to take your time as well. Yeah. Which I think the whole concept originally silly, from our silly. mothers was more like get to know the person. I think. That was the, I, I, I could be wrong. Yeah. But I think it was more like get to know the person first before you actually commit. So, it was a little bit of a little bit of a 
you know, yule mwingine anasema kwamba ah so it's actually too. They say no, they say no, they say no and eventually they end up saying yes. Now, baadaye huyu mkaka amekuwa na huyu mdada amekuwa. Tunajamii gani? Unajua Mike, like you said, kwamba these things are ingrained in the fabric of our societies, right? So it is something that cannot be rectified in a week times in 5 years, maybe not even 10 years. So this is a it's a gradual thing that's going to be long and painful, right? I mean, people are going to mess up. The question is I, I think the most important thing is like uko na mtu anazingua, kama upo karibu. Ongea na. Yeah, call it out. If you're a guy and then you see like um jamaga katazwa, alafu unaona he's about to start something. Don't confront him, but there's a way where you can um kind of neutralize the situation, eh? So so I mean we have to call out each other more i think kwa sababu na kwa sisi ambao tayari you could say kwamba tusharibika and and the next best thing is how we raise our little boys matters man it matters eh it does eh? so i mean how he sees you talking to your to his mother that matters bro that matters eh kwa mm. if you gonna if you have to argue i mean i mean, I mean those things happen but you know again So it's how we carry ourselves cuz the next best hope is the little boys that they are raising right now. See some about to recover, eh? I <laughs> mean <laughs> recovering with sadness. Yeah. That that did you actually think really there's no hope for some of us? No, like there's when, hope. No, no, no. Like no, no. There's, there's hope. There's hope. But it's more it it's more work. painful and it takes work. It takes work. It takes work. You got to put in the work, eh? Yeah, and you can't expect yeah. for some Nadia to come and make some reform. Yeah. You know, it, it's it, each of us individually. As a woman sitting there, I need to be able to know, okay, this is, the, this is what, you know, I, I, I want from this society, right? Kwamba, diyo kuna issue, there's power dynamics or inequalities. You need to understand them. Sawa, na pia unaitaji kujua wewe senyako nye society ni wapi, right? As a man, also need to know, these are the power privileges that I have. Sawa. And male privilege is real, yo. It, it is. <laughs> um, and to know that there are times where you would need to be able to assess also the situation that okay, is this am I utilizing my power privilege here or not? Yeah? Lakini mwisho wa siku, it's not cuz when I say the woman needs to know the power inequalities that she exists in and the man should know the power privileges that he has. Sawa. Um, and I say it existed and has because, pa- thank God to patriarchy, I don't know how we're thinking it, but it's, it's given whether men like it or not, it, 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 you, you were born with privilege just for being a male. Yeah, it is, man. I it's mean, true. It's true. Yeah. Stop and, being a lady, bro. Yeah, and, and I was just telling someone <laughs> like the other day, like, I was, I was like, yo, man, I'm glad I'm a dude, yo, because <laughs> shit y'all go through. Yeah. Wild, man. I, I mean, Mike, I'm sure right now, if you ask your female friends, how many, if they've ever, their ass been ever smacked by someone they don't know in the club, 90% would say yes. I was walking down the street you see that? in South Africa wearing yeah. an abaya, yeah. big ass hijab, yeah. not the tight abayas, yeah. napia badum to slap my bum. You see that? In the street. Daylight. Market. I saw a documentary. A Pakistani guy so, was asked, like, yo... Why, if you see, why do women have to cover their faces? And this, and this dude was like, even if I see a leg, I cannot control myself. <laughs> I saw, so, so I mean, it's, it's not always about what she's wearing, eh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you it's, know, it's, it's, it's this sense of, of entitlement. entitlement that comes with the male privilege, right? As you said, right? We get away with a, with a lot of shit, you know? I mean, it starts at the home, right? When, when if you're a boy, and then... There's a boy and a girl, right? There's a brother and a sister. You come back from home, mm. the boy puts on his back, he goes out and play, but the other girl is going to be like, you have to help Dada with the cleaning and stuff. Yeah. And I think that's why I'm going to say something. It might be a, a bit um, controversial, but I believe nowadays we have more boys than men and we have more women than girls. See you coming in mimi nimekuelewa lakini kwa faida ya wengine yeah. expand on that kwa sababu unakuta 
yule binti anapoanza kufanya house chores anajengewa sense of responsibility si kama umeelewa zamani ilikuwa kijana kama kutoka shule anaenda kuchunga ngombe mm. anaenda shamba anaenda something right si kama umeelewa afu dafu dada anabaki ndani kwa hiyo unakuta both these kids grow up knowing kwamba a sense of responsibility now when i said we have more boys than men unakuta and uh, unakuta a lot of us nowadays either we're not aware of our adult responsibilities we ta- or we don't take them seriously or we we are in denial uh, and i'm not talking about people who are unemployed or anything because that's a different matter yeah. entirely si come na leo mike kwa unakuta this boy grows up anaenda kucheza hana sense of uh, responsibility alafu an, 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 anarudi nyumbani anacheza playstation hapo hapo at, at the same time unakuta yule binti ameshaosha vyombo ameshafanya homework wanakula anatoa vyombo ili njemba livo tu yaani eh yeah. si kama yeah. leo back in the days who dogo <laughs> angefanya nini mm. agenda kusunga ngombe mm. I, i mean something there was a task back in the days but now you're a task aipo do we do we do you think uh, and I'm, i'm asking this because Kwayo. i'm a parent too so my my question boys is, are entitled right? we are we are entitled yeah. so my, no, no, my, no. I, I, i'm just saying yeah. I, i mean i think all children right yeah they are very demanding so i mean a sense of responsibility slowly withers that away mm. you know yeah it chips away slowly slowly you, you, you can't be demanding if you got shit to do You see what I'm saying? Mm. But if free you're like, "Ah, oh, man, I want this. I this, want that. that. Give this, me this, that. give me that. Yeah, daddy, give me this, give yeah. me that." Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, parents also but, but and this is the thing though. I think and, I, and I'm asking this because I'm, inv- I'm I'm invested as a parent. I think most of most of the time as parents, we try to offer our kids something that we, you know, you always want. You always want what's good for the kid, right? Naturally. A better life then, than yourself. A, a better life than yourself. Yeah. You know, but I think for most for most part we are now we confuse that with the spoiling and you know a little bit handing over things a little bit too much for the kid. Too much to kwa uraisi pia. Cuz babu I remember growing up kuna some task ambayo tulikuwa tunajua kabisa nyumbani. Saturdays okay weekdays nimejifanya mko shule fine lakini kurudi shule nobody washes a uniform for you. You know that was on you. Hata kama dada yupo nyumbani mlikuwa mna huo uwezo na nini lakini you do your own uniform. You know? Mkimaliza zenu hapo, you do your homework wherever mkila, mna shift za kutoa vyombo mezani, kuna shift za kuosha vyombo wote ndani ya nyumba moja, you know? Mna shift za kuosha vyombo na kila kitu asubuhi you wake up unanyosha nguo yako off to school. Tukisha kuwa wazazi sisi za mazetu sasa na kama no mtoto ngo zake za shule afuliwe yeah. uh, vyombo asitoe jina nini na nini na nini you think you really creating mazingira mazuri kwa watoto but eventually unajenga a lot of sense entitlement hey, when, yeah. when we speak about um, even with power dynamics consent it's all it all boils down to our attitude Thank our God, Nadi, she's always bringing us back to the top <laughs> yeah. and and you know that the, the habits the little habits that we have Um, and if we go back to like wazazi if we're thinking about raising this nation that is respectful of people's boundaries is respectful of consent is respectful um, of one another right because um, we can't power will never go away there'll always be power right lakini how we use that power ndo ndo muhimu um and all that is informed kwa sababu uwezo kaniambia kama all the successful people are exploit their 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 you know the privileges that comes with their success mm-hmm. kuna a few and when like hamna is i don't know if there's research Everybody's out there being exploited i mean it's just <laughs> a fact of life right y- yes um like, I, i i guess there's evil exploitation and there's mass exploitation <laughs> but it's a different conversation go ahead it, it's kind of like nini in yeah. in tonini the food chain mm, right yeah. we, we need the spider Um, the spider eats the other tiny bugs but then there's the lizard that eats so, so all of us kila mmoja ana purpose yake kwa dunia kila mtu ata shida mechi zake the circle of life it's the circle of life like even when we're talking about like treating one another with respect it boils down to our values values ndo muhimu kwa sababu Nadia is Nadia i will make a decision based off my values my value system if i value human beings and i value 
uh, let's say, relationships, and I value respect, then the decision I make, regardless of how much power I have, I will not act in a way that goes against my value. Because I will, that's where now conflict will arise within me. You know? Again, when conflict is, has you know, started to boil inside you, now we're leaving room to the depressions, the anxieties, the distress, the illness. Yeah? Because if there's havoc inside me, then my functioning, a lot of me will be affected. If the interior is fucked up, the exterior is going to be fucked up too. Right? Exactly. So right? Put, so yeah. when we are looking at people and saying, you know, just overhaul, think about the, 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 the symptom. Because right now we're looking at symptom. People exploiting power. People not respecting consent. These are all symptoms of an illness. The illness is in the individual. What are their value systems? If you cannot respect a woman telling you, no, please don't stop, don't do it, stop, then there's something in your value system that says, huyu hanama nayote, there's no need for me to respect this, this person. Or maybe Simone atakama binadam, right? That guides my behavior. So as much as we are primitive beings, our values, and we start to learn them from an early age from home, our parents teach us values. Work ethic is a value, right? How we speak to people who are above us or below us is a value. Unokuta watoto wengine, anavongea na mfanya kazi, utalia, right? And it all comes from the value system nyumbani. Anafundishwa kumuheshimu au hafu. You know, because that's, that's where we, our value system starts to emer emerge. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to power, how we use it, when it comes to consent, whether we respect it, we seek it, or we disrespect it, it, it also boils down to our values. Because our values in a guide, literally, all our behaviors. So if we're thinking of how do we solve this problem, rather than looking at the symptom, because we can get the laws, the reforms, the whatevers, they're just, they're like medication. Medication comes in, symptoms of depression, extreme sadness, anhedonia, I don't know what else, sleeping difficulties, and then medication enter in Arudisha, usingizi in Arudisha, in a balance of neurotransmitters, so ujisikie, your emotions are balanced. Lakini, eh, lakini tatizo, lililo ripua, hizo symptoms zote, liko pale pale. And that's where our work comes in. Shout out to psychologists out there in the world. <laughs> Plug yourself in. <laughs> you know, we go look, you look at what is the root, what is the, what is the source, right? Tukiangalia maji ya nafunguka, tufunguka bomba maji ya natoka maji machafu, siyo tubadilisha tulile bomba. Angalia source of water, maji ya natokea wapi. You know, is there a burst pipe uko? How are we pulling from a source ambayo has been tarnished? So, I think we need to reassess our values. If you've never sat down with yourself and look at, okay, Mimi as Nadia, what do I value? Self-examination, right? Yes. It's and introspection important. and reflection. Ujijua, kwa sababu huyo itatusaidia to be a bit more conscious. Mm -hmm. You know, so when it comes to, when our primitive mind kicks in and we just want to do things to fulfill our basic drives, those values, sasa, ndo zitakuambia, e ngoja basi kwanza. Lakini hii ni muhimu kwako. And that will then guide your decision-making process. It will guide now the, your behavior. Like in the to how do we get rid of this? It will. Yeah, we will stay there. I, mm. I, I think it's it's tough to get rid of any sort of power dynamic because power will always be there. Oh yeah. Some people are always gonna have power over other people. And it's not bad. It, and and it's not, exactly power. power is not a bad thing actually. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with having power. There's exactly. absolutely nothing wrong. It's about. You know, um, with great power comes what? Great responsibility. responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Peter Parker. Shout out to Auntie May. Yeah, sister, real Peter Parker. Why you gotta diss your local spider, man? No, man. So, hey. I actually love that. Hey, <laughs> hey you too, local <laughs> spidey. That's what's up, man. Keep at it. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. This has been a very good Ah, to remember this? I just said, uh, you still want to talk more. <laughs> <laughs> You're pulling up a second hourglass over here. <laughs> <laughs> you still want to talk more. <laughs> but, but my thing that I wanted to ask was, we've talked about consent, we've talked about, about power dynamics, we've talked about values, we've talked about what we stand for as humans, we've talked about parenting, 
we've talked about the influence of the nature, you know. We, 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 we've talked about, and all these things, they actually do play a part in shaping uh, uh, who we are today, you know. And kuona either kuona tatizo tunawiliona sasa hivi, like, you know, it also plays a part in helping us to come with a solution now. Does not mean kwamba after this one episode, tatizo litaisha. It, it, it doesn't work like that. We know that. But then we just hope kwamba at least kuna awareness ta kwa sababu a lot of times we do things in autopilot and we really really don't get a time to could question why things are the way or some things happen the way they happen, you know. So we hope that this kind of conversation actually na in a in enda kujenga that whole notion of actually to say, you know, why do I do this? Why are things like this na vitu kama hivi so throughout all this conversation that we've had if there's one thing you want people to pick from this particular conversation from this particular podcast what would that be from you i believe yes a man and a woman are two different human beings totally different but it's not zero sum eh when a woman gains it doesn't mean a man is losing and vice versa that's a very good point kwa una kuta kuna there's this debate especially like on social media when you have women talking about women's rights then you have some guys about men's rights nini being violated unakuta kwa mfano sijui ndio na kana pigwa then nakuta eh eh ndio hata no mna pigwa this is the kind of say it's, it's, it's the same thing as like um reverse racism right yeah i mean lewe hii mzungu hawezi akaenda kwenye black lives matter ile match watu wako pale afa anasema well even white people get shot by cops it's true yes cops also kill white people mm-hmm. it's true mm-hmm. but at what rate though mm-hmm. what's the frequency mm-hmm. kwa hiyo i mean sio vita eh yeah. sio vita dada we, we actually yeah. need each other eh hey. alafu yeah. bwana sikombie mtu hamna binadamu wazuri kama kina dada man. women are brilliant man brilliant Yeah. And Twitter, they have a lot to offer. Twitter, and Twitter, highly Twitter, intelligent. Twitter, Twitter na kwambia hayombi with you. Ah, na brother. Mimi niko fresh kabisa. Na kwambia hayombi with you. Spoken for by the way. I get you. Yeah, Nani, anything you want to wind up with? Assess your values. I think if we all as individuals um adopt positive values, right? Um values that help us coexist in the communities societies that we're in then easy easy symptoms has it was it okay right if i know the root problem and i and i resolve the root problem then mgonjo hauto you know hauto ibuka right and if it does it will be easier to kind of mitigate it to control it yeah so i think to gvss values it and hamna hamna aibu kusema labda mimi nikajiassess nikaona mimi sijaheshimu wanawake Good for you. Now to you recognize know. that now you know. Imetokea yeah. wapi? Right? Because then now we have the awareness and then we look at the root problem. Is it because of nivo, ni chokiona growing up? Then unaenda ku solve that is all trauma. <laughs> right? Because you need humans. If you're a man, you need you you need a partner. <laughs> we we are relational beings. So kama wewe we're not solitary yes animals. we're not we're not yeah you know so we're communal so so it's with me nikijikuta nikajiassess nikaza mimi siheshimu wanaume then there must have been something there's something kwa sababu if i'm a heterosexual woman i at some point need a man it is one of the human responsibilities to procreate reproduce mate biological innate so to desire No, it is a human it's program purpose. In, the, in the DNA, right? It's encoded. Yes, it's encoded. I mean, how else do we continue to be in existence? Right? So, woki you can you tafakari unajikuta miss siheshimu wanawake utakuwaje na mtu ambaye humheshimu? Unaishi unaishije vipi na huyo mtu? For example, like how do you coexist? So, if you assess yourself and you see me this is the thing, then please dig deeper. You might have been scarred somewhere and you you, you would really benefit your, from doing that. 
Yeah, so that's Nadia for us. Yeah, but they add in the summer wind up, it's more than an hour now <laughs> since we started doing this. So we always get this when, when we have amazing conversation with Anderson. people, man. So yeah, Aden, thank you Yo, for coming through, my guy. This is a very good appreciate conversation appreciate and hope we get to have more of this, man. It's right. we hope, we hope that you know what I call skills or tell you why did we actually had to talk about it. Mm-hmm. But most importantly, you know, like what I just say, you know better, you do better. And this is why we do this, because unpacking and unlearning it's 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 a hell of a process. It's tough, and man. It's tough, it's tough, man. It's not it's easy. Tough. It's not yeah. easy. But we're here for it. We're here for it. So you or you know, buckle up. We're we're not going anywhere. Yeah. We'll be here for a while and we're gonna have a lot of fun um, um uncomfortable conversations, you know. So yeah, me and Trump. to get comfortable too. Uh, yeah. It's time to get comfortable with uncomfortability, it's right? It's time to. It's time to. That's so, yeah. Grow. Yeah, yeah. That's how we grow. Yeah. Imagine. Basically. Think of the seed. It has to break off of that whatever shell it has and then go through dirt to see sunshine. Yeah. And that's a, a very good flower. narrative right yeah. there. Uh-huh. You that's see? And, and that's why women are brilliant, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys. It's been real, but now you thank you for always being here. And Kokwe uh, Dr. Madini, thank you. We appreciate you. Aden, thank you for coming through. Appreciate it, brother. Remember, come on, talk to us here on the Ad Mind Matters TZ on Instagram and Twitter. Link in your bio, directly to the website. Meza Kuchiki and I. For us, at Men the Podcast on Twitter, at Men the Podcast on Instagram. More of these conversations to come. But for now, we just gotta go say bye. I mean, we just gotta say bye. And then we'll link up next time. Till next time. Sayonara. <laughs> man, 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 the podcast.